With the destruction of the enemy's deuterium plant, the Wolf Pack returns to headquarters to await their next mission. Meanwhile, the war is tipping in the Allies' favor. In January of 1943, Soviet forces begin a counterattack to repel the Germans, and they succeed in reclaiming Stalingrad and Kharkov. The Americans and British achieve similar progress in North Africa and manage to drive the Axis out of Tunisia by May. Concentrating their attention on the east, German forces attempt to halt the Soviet advance, but their efforts are in vain. Hitler orders operations in the Soviet Union to cease. With the help of the American forces, the Allies land in Sicily and manage to force the Italians to surrender by early September 1943. However, German troops still occupy much of the nation and continue to fight the Allied forces. While the German forces seemed unstoppable just a few years ago, they now appear to be suffering great losses on all fronts. In November of 1943, United States President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Soviet General Secretary Joseph Stalin meet in Tehran to discuss the war. After discussing the situation in Europe, the Allied leaders agreed to launch a combined seaborne invasion of northern France in May of 1944, only six months away. By this time, the Allies are unable to gather any new intelligence on Germany's atomic weapons program, and it is believed they've abandoned their research. All sightings of reanimated corpses are deemed classified information, and the Wolfpack members find themselves awaiting their next mission.